Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and here's a neat little project that anybody could do, and you could do it in num numerous amount of colors. So we're just gonna get that out of the way. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I've got indexing lines in the center of my page, and I'm gonna hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then I'm gonna take that ellipse and I'm gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard. Then I'm just gonna kind of move it down about there, doesn't really matter. You want some space for this open space like I've got. Then you want to control D. That's a lot of reasons I quit using control D. Um, and now we're going to rotate that from the center. So we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Control D. Really, that's all we need to do. We don't need to continue uh, rotating it. But we're going to need two of these items. So we're going to use the Smart Fill tool and fill in these two items. We need that one. I'm going to click it over. And then I'm going to take the Virtual Segment Delete key because we need this one also. So I'm going to nudge it over and down. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my line. Now remember that I nudged the whole time. I am going to left-click right click I am going to left click no fill right click outline there we go now there's several ways you could do this and I've kind of done it backwards the way I wanted to do it but I'm going to select that node and I'm going to break it apart and then I'm going to select that node and I'm going to break it apart this is going to seem a little unorthodox but if you make a copy of that and put it up and then take one of these lines away with the virtual segment delete key and then on the other one take the other line away that indexing line stop the two lines so now I can nudge this back and I have two separate lines that I'll be able to blend so we're going to select them all we're going to go to effects and blend, and we're going to blend them 10 times. Look, okay, I'm almost glad that happened. So, what has happened, if we look at it in the shape tool, matter of fact, let's nudge that one line back up. If we look at it in the shape tool, the arrow is going left to right. This one is going, well, they're going the same direction, but this arrow is going the opposite direction. So you need to select one of the other and then right click and reverse the sub pass to make the blend work good. Then we can grab them both and blend. For some reason I have a little uh, I don't know what's going on in there. Let's uh Huh, it just kind of blended funny. Let's, um, maybe, maybe we got too many nodes. So let's do it again. Yep, there we go. Now what we need to do is go in and go to object and break the blend apart. And then that way we can make the line thicker. That's pretty good. Now what we want to do is create this shape and make another one. So I just hit the plus key on the keyboard. I am going to left click, right click. And there are several ways you could do it, but the easiest way is just to take your virtual segment delete key and just delete these lines. Just be careful on that last one. Um, you know, you could use several different back minus fronts. So it's already there, it's, it's good enough. So now we have this these lines. I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna turn it black. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it, so I won't forget, I'm gonna to go to object and order and back a page. Then I'm gonna take the interactive fill tool and this is where you can play around with what you wanna do. On this one I use the center uh, fill, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it again and you could you know, change it up quite a bit. Maybe we can try that. And because it's in the back of the page, when we nudge it over there, it's going to be shining through our lines. Pretty cool effect. 
now group this together, control G. And the reason I have the indexing lines because I'm still in the center. So I'm going to move this center rotation to the center. Click off of it, click again, make sure it is. Rotate it 90 degrees. I didn't make a duplicate. So control D and then I always go back to zero or you could go 180. So there you go. That's a pretty cool. And if you've watched enough of my videos of late, I could have made a clone of the first one and then we could go through and uh, actually change the interactive field tool on all of them at the same time. I like this one better just because I didn't go so far with the interactive field tool. Pretty cool little project. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.